two textbooks for this course, and the first one is Shakespeare of London by Marchette Shute, that's spelled C-H-U-T-E. is called Shakespeare Alive, and that is edited by Joseph Pack. Really want to understand the man, though. We have to look at the humble beginnings of his father. We've got to look at the town that he came from. You don't understand why he has such a good grasp on the common man, the porter in a play like Macbeth, until you know about Stratford and what it was like to live there in the years circa, circa about 1550. first then at John Shakespeare, William's father. John was the son of a tenant farmer. His brother was a tenant farmer. It didn't take young John very long to realize that if you farmed someone else's land, you were not going to make a very good living. John had bigger ambitions. Lucky for him that he lived next to a market town called Stratford. Now, I know we're talking about 1550, but the important thing is, in terms of rural England, these were still medieval towns. into quote the Elizabethan era. So when we
When we think about Stratford, it's a very small town, and yet it had something really important for a man like John Shakespeare. It had a middle class. Generally, throughout England, you were either very poor or very rich. But if you could sell goods and make money at it, then you were not poor. Then you had a good living. Then you belonged to a union. Then you could get married and raise a good family. And Shakespeare was after. So he moved into Stratford. He took a look around and he said, what people need that I can supply? And what they needed was gloves. times, that would be ridiculous. We don't wear gloves very more, very much, especially in the western states, and especially here in California. But in England, think about it. A person didn't go outside to go to work without gloves on. Be, the, the parallel today would be if I were going to go to an office and I didn't wear hose, or if a man was going to go to work in a bank and he didn't have a tie on. Gloves were a commodity that everybody needed and everybody wore. So if you wanted to make money, you wanted to make something that everybody would buy. John not only was a glover and a very good one, he was known as a, quote, white glover. That means he made gloves out of the finest, finest lamb skin, and they were white as snow. very rich people began to buy John Shakespeare's gloves. In 
You would think that would be enough for him, but it wasn't. 